and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to show how we can set up a pointer grabber, that we can grab things with our pointer at a distance and also grab controllables. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. And we're in the scene where we have a couple of controllables set up and an interactable object and we'll show how we can interact with these with a pointer. So we could do this by manually setting up an object pointer and adding an interactor to the end of it. But there is a Tilia package that already has a prefab set up for this. So if we go to window, then to Tilia, then to the package importer. And if we look down for the interactions pointer interactors package and just add that. And when that's added, we can close down the package importer window. And now all we need to do is add a pointer grabber prefab to our scene. So if we right click in the hierarchy, go down to Tilia, then to prefabs then to interactions and then to interactors. We can now see we've got a pointer interactors distance grabber and a pointer interactors pointer grabber. We're gonna use the pointer grabber now, so we're gonna add one of those to our scene. And we'll just move this down to the bottom so we can work on it easier. And the pointer grabber is a predefined prefab that contains a stripe pointer and an interactor at the end of the pointer cursor. And all we need to do is configure the facade as usual. As we already have our teleport pointer set up on our right controller, I'm gonna set this up on our left controller. So we want to go and get a follow source. So if you remember the curved pointer, if we look at the curved pointer for the right controller, it uses the follow source of right pointer. So we can go and see that's right pointer. What we want to do is get the one for left pointer. So on pointer grabber, we're going to use left pointer as the follow source. The activation action, this is what turns the pointer on or off. So if we expand our input mappings and then in the left controller, all I'm going to do is use the primary button to turn it on or off. So when I hold the primary button down, our pointer will appear. And when I release the primary button, the pointer will disappear. So I'm just going to use the press action in there for activation. And then for grab, I'm just going to use the left grip again, just to make it the same as if I was grabbing with my hand. So I'm just going to use the left grip press. And then we can change the length of the pointer when we've grabbed it by using the length axis action value. And we can set that just by providing a float action. And in this case, I'm going to use the thumbstick on the left controller, and I'm just going to use its axis. And I'll use the vertical axis when I push that thumbstick up or back. It controls the length of that pointer. So grab, drag, and drop that in there. And then the final thing, if we want to have some velocity when we throw this object with the pointer, we can pick a velocity tracker because I want this to track my left controller around. I'm just going to use the left controller alias and that will take the velocity tracker from there. There are some other settings we can set up as well. We can auto grab things when the pointer enters them. I'm going to leave that off for now. And we can further configure this as well if we expand this and then look at the object pointer straight inside. We have a couple of additional things that we can configure on a normal pointer anyway. So we can lock the cursor to a specific threshold or we can add a transition duration to make the cursor smoothly follow our motion around. And also as well, if we expand the object pointer straight and look at the straight caster, we can come in here and we can also change the drag effect density, which will make the straight pointer bend as we're grabbing something around. So we're going to add a drag effect density. This is the density of the curve line. We're just going to add 10 points to that. So I'll put a 10 in there. And then if I go to the object pointer stripe, we just have a little transition duration to make it nice and smooth. So I'll put transition duration of about 0.3. And then if we go back to our pointer grabber, we can see we've got our pointer grabber now set up on our left pointer. And if we jump into the scene, we'll be able to see that we can grab these items with our pointer. So let's do that now. So we're in the scene. We can see on our right controller, we still have our teleport beam. And then now on our left controller, if I was to hold down my primary button, we can see we have our pointer appear and it's got that drag effect going round. And then if I was to grab the lever, we can see we can grab and move our lever and that still works as expected. And the same if we grab our wheel, we can move our wheel around and then we can pick up the pig and we can move our pig up and down, get it to follow our pointer around. And then if we move our thumbstick axis as well, we can see we can control the length of where that pig is. And there we go. We've set up our pointer interactor now where we can interact with objects in the scene. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.